Hello, hello, hello. What is it? Good morning. Almost noon. <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying to wait to get a few viewers and then we'll get this party started. Y'all like my cup? So, welcome back to Yazzie's World. Um, you guys know I tend to go live when I have orders or something's going on. And yeah, so I have a big order and I wanted to share some of what I'm doing with you guys. And hey, Kita. So first and foremost, I've lived out of a suitcase like this entire couple of months. So I'm actually home now. I don't have anything coming up out of town besides the fact that um, I have things going on this week. So I'm trying to get everything together and just do it. Just do it. So, um, but so today, um, I wanted to first, I like my new beauty from Candace Creations. Yes, isn't she cute, y'all? Look at that. Yes. I'm a four-eyed girl, so, you know, I had to, you know, rep for the four-eyed girls. And I'm really natural under these braids since I cut my hair. So, hopefully one day my fro will look like that, depending if I don't give in to a relaxer. So, we'll see. But, anywho, this is my latest little um, Candice Creation Cup. And um, all her information is in my description box as well. Everything that I'm using in this video, for the most part, um, besides if you don't want to get it on Amazon, you're more than welcome to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but it is in my description box as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys um, like this video and let's get started. Madison, can you turn your tablet down a little bit, please? I mean, your iPad. A little more. Okay, thank you. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, Candice Creations, her link is in my description box. She has um, a lot of different tumblers, cups, mugs, wine glasses, all of that stuff um, that you guys can get customized. So, check her out on Etsy and follow her on um, Instagram. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm being really dehydrated. Had a sinus headache for the last three days. And I finally went and got some medicine. So I'm finally getting back to myself. I'm almost like a day behind. But I'm going to push this stuff out. And it's going to be legit and good looking. So let's get with it. <clears throat> Maddie, Auntie Marquita said hi. You want to say hi? Say hey. She can hear you. She just woke up. She's like in La La Land. Okay, so let me make sure I have, because you know I always look at myself on my iPad just to make sure I'm doing this right. But I'm going to share this on Facebook right quick so everybody can catch me live. Y'all know I really like going live. I think it's super fun and you guys get to see like how I really interact with everybody We're gonna make it a public feed, yes. So I think I did that. That's my first time actually sharing a live thingy on 
Facebook. So let me make sure it's up and running. And then I'll get into details of what I've got going on today. Okay, it's up. So let's do this, y'all. Okay, so um, like I said, I have an order. I'm doing candy apples, of course. That's like what unique sweets and treats are known for. But um, sometimes when they have color schemes, um, I throw in, and for the most part, especially if it's a big order, I do um, try to throw in something extra, um, especially when I can tell like they're trying to do like a dessert table or something. So today, um, I, well, my orders consist of candy apples, dipped Oreos, cake pops, and chocolate covered strawberries. So I plan on showing you guys, of course, I'm starting off with the sticks, how I'm going to decorate um, the sticks to get them where they need to be. And I'm gonna use straw papers to decorate them. Oops. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get these onto the apples and go from the there. Apples. Not right this minute, but yes, this is part of my order. Candy apples, Maddie. Put them on a the towel. And then, um, like I said, I have cake pops, Oreo pops, and chocolate covered strawberries. Um, I do want to show you guys how to do the Oreo um, pops. I think they're really cute. And um, I do want to show you guys how to do the cake pops. But I'm so iffy about cake pops because I, I don't know. I don't struggle with them, but I'm almost like a perfectionist when it comes to them. So I don't know. I might take too much time on it. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I'm definitely going to show you guys how to um, dip the Oreo pops later. So stay tuned, guys, because um, Yazzie's World is going to be blowing up today. I'm going to be blowing up y'all timelines. But um, make sure you guys subscribe to my page. You share the videos. Um, you like, thumbs up, what you see. Um, I make sure I leave, for the most part, I try to get everything I can in my description box. If anything that I mentioned is not on there, please ask. Um, I answer back. Um, yeah, so let's get to it so i have my sticks and i got these on amazon and i use the sticks on amazon because they're slimmer than the candy apple sticks in like walmart and um michael's and hobby lobby so i do use these sticks because the straw paper will go over them just like that so I have my scissors, I have my straws, and you can use any straws, any straws will work. Um, I know the thumbnail I use is another set of candy apple sticks I did, but the straws will work, any straw, as long as you have the appropriate size stick to um, slit it on. So I have my scissors, I have my hot glue gun already ready to... Yep, it's just right. You want to make sure you have something under it so it doesn't mess mess up your table. I use this little plastic cutting board from Walmart. Or you can use a paper plate or like a plastic plate, not a um, styrofoam plate, but like a, a paper plate so that um, it doesn't melt the plate. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and measure these. I usually get an apple. I have not, these are not clean yet, so don't judge me. I did not clean my apples yet. That happens later today. And if you want a cleaning video, I have one on my page as well. So I kind of just measure about where the apple's gonna, um, where I'm gonna stick it in, where I'm gonna stop it at. And it's about right there. So for the most part, I'll probably be using like half of this stick. And that's what I usually use, half of the stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the sticks in half. And I just use my judgment. I don't, I don't actually, like, use anything specific. I just kind of go in halfway. And, yeah, I usually come out pretty good. So this is what we're working with. 
So let me put my apple back. But I hope you guys are having a great summer. Like I said, my my summer's been busy, but I'm enjoying it. After this week, it'll kind of slow down a little bit. So we're cutting at the halfway mark. So I'm doing 18, I mean 16, wait, 18 apples. I don't know what's up with my counting these days. I've been off. I guess my sinuses really got me messed up. So this is what we have. So we took nine whole sticks, cut them in half. Now we have 18. So that's what we have, guys. So have our stick and making sure that let me take this one more time <sighs> sorry so this is what we're going to do you're going to have your stick go ahead and slide the straw onto the stick like this so you see how that looks. So then you're going to bring it up just a little bit to bring in some space like that. So what you're going to do is take the glue and just a little squirt and fill that top area that you left empty. And then I kind of take it down, bring it back up and swirl it like that. So it's gonna leave like a little bubble at the top, if you guys can see the bubble. Just a little bubble. And what I do, that's why I say have a plate. I flatten that bubble, just like that. Mommy, you send me this. So then you have your stick. No. Just like that. You have your candy apple stick. And like I said, you can use all kinds of colored straws, silver straws, glittery straws. This is um, another way besides blinging them out that you can do the stick. So you slide the straw on the apple stick. You give yourself a little kind of measure, bring it up a little bit. It's right on the counter. A little glue, a little drop of glue. Kind of twist it, bring it down, and it, you can feel the pressure of it getting hard. And if, um, because I have different size apples, so let me see. Mm, that should be good. I like to leave a little space so when I dip, I'm not going to completely, this won't be emerged into it. So I think we'll be good. If not, I can just kind of sharpen the end and work it so it can be, it won't be so much left. I'll be sharpening the end down a little bit. But for the most part, this is how you do it. So 
the colors, of course, are pink and white. And um, I just, when I know there's a color scheme, I don't like leaving the stick just plain. So this is like my little thing that I do. Giving yourself a little bit of space in there for the glue to set. One little press. Push it up, swirl it a little bit underneath. When you feel it getting tough, just push it a little bit. Got the little bubble. Just Maddie, yes. when you get a chance, when you finish eating, can you go upstairs and get the sharpener off my desk so I can sharpen my sticks? It's a red one, not the one y'all use for your pencils, but the other one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And don't be afraid to work with a hot glue gun if you haven't before. You just have to be very careful. Um, I really have no filling in my fingers or my nubs because I'm so used to picking up hot stuff. So, like, I can't even tell you how some stuff feel. But just be careful for those who haven't used the glue gun before. Just be careful in general. Because though I can't feel anything, I still don't want a burn mark on me either. <clears throat> and if you feel the need to smooth it out, just take the gun and smooth it out just like that. So it's flush. And if you get a little um, glue on the straw itself, just rub it off. It comes off really, really good. You don't have no issues. No issues. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Clean my sinuses and all of this stuff. It's crazy. I'm going to leave my cute little cup right here to the side. So if you guys have any questions, Candace Creation information is in my description box. She customizes cups, tumblers, wine, glasses, and mugs. So be sure to click on the link. And um, if you purchase with her and you use my discount code, I think you get like 10% off too. So can't go wrong. <clears throat> and you can also um, do the oh, Maddie, you okay? The same thing when it comes to blinging your sticks. You can get this in any color and do the same thing. 
Um, you can use, it doesn't have to be um, the small sticks like this, but you can use the thicker ones from Walmart. And you literally, you just cut it to where you want it to stop. So I would like cut it right there and just literally put a line of glue from the glue gun, put a line of glue on there and just wrap it around until it meets. And then you have your bling stick. Um, I sell them too, but some everybody doesn't like purchasing and that is okay because I am a do-it-yourself type of gal too, so... Um, I already sell them as well if you're interested or you could just follow along in this video and you can pretty much do it yourself. Did you say hello? Uh -huh. You're not going to say hello to the people watching? So Madison has her kindergarten meet and greet today at the park which I'm not too excited about because it's so stinking hot here. It's like 100 degrees already outside and it's only 1148. So we have that at six o'clock, which isn't gonna be any better. It's still gonna be warm, but. So Miss Madison Monet is going to kindergarten. Are you excited? Hmm? No. Yes, you are. She knows who her teacher is. Her teacher is actually Bryson's kindergarten teacher, so we love her. She's an awesome teacher. Is this a YouTube? So no worries. Stop. Yes. So she has her little graduation party Saturday, and the weather is supposed to be mm -hmm, not too good, but. I think we have a backup plan because we're having it at our pool house. But if need be, we have to bring it on in. But the weather here is lately, it's just, it's so pretty out right now. And by afternoon, it'll look like uh, something just, it's not right. But I guess we're just getting, I got it, I got it. Because I don't want you to touch the end part. Thank you. So I'm hoping for great weather. Um, I have a surprise for her. She will see it Friday night once I pick it up. I am doing some of her treats on her table. I didn't want to overdo it, so I did purchase some things from Sam's. But I am doing a few things as well. Those are glue sticks. Can you go get my sharpener? My red sharpener, please? I don't want you to hurt yourself. Madison, can you go get my sharpener, please, ma'am? <coughs> please. Go! Okay, no party. I'll take everything back to the store. No. Okay, I need my sharpener, please. Please. <clears throat> I have to take my sinus medicine in a little bit, guys. So after I finish these sticks, I'm probably going to break for about um, maybe 10, 15 minutes so I can get the description box ready for you guys and um, set up everything to dip the Oreos. And depending on how many of these you use, you might go through a whole glue stick and you might not. So, don't feel because you didn't go through a whole glue stick that it's not being done properly. Because it doesn't, it doesn't take much at all. Madison, can you please go get my um, sharpener? Bryson! Since she acts like she's so into eating her cereal now. Bryce! Alexa, 
Drop in on Bryson's room. Bryson's room, right? Yes. Alexa is a lifesaver. Bryce. Can you go in my room on my desk and bring me down that red sharpener, please? The red pencil sharpener? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Alexa, hang up. Y'all, Alexa be on it. All that screaming through the house I used to do, my husband hates that. I don't have to do anymore. Madison, can you please open my blind up? That's my natural light. There's no flies in here. Yes, it is. Where at? Fly shouldn't have came in. I only took Zoe out to walk. It's right there. Where? That one here. Really? Oh, y'all, these flies is like no joke. That's another thing I'm not looking forward to Saturday either. Flies. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to put my little candles out for the insects and flying bugs, but we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to bring my fans out so it can kind of blow them out. So hopefully that works as well. Madison's still eating. Thank you, son. So this is my sharpener. I'm going to sharpen the sticks down a little bit. So I make sure I don't have too much empty space in between the straw and the stick showing can't go out like that. Got to make sure it's on point. takes one person. Madison, I'll get it. I don't want you to mess up anything. Hello. And they dry super fast, guys. You don't have to wait like three or four minutes for them to um, dry. So this is my last stick. So we have the stick. Okay. Can you open my blind back? I need my natural light. So we have the stick. And we're going to leave a little bit of space. To put just a little dot of glue. Work it in until you feel it getting tough. That means it's drying. There we go. Take what's up. Can you open my blind back up, please? You can do that another time. It's right there. Y'all not going to get it because it's not easy. So that's it. We have our sticks. Okay, that's enough. Madison, please open. Maddie, open my blinds back. Thank you. So we have our sticks. And like I said, you can use any, I'm, now I'm stressing that, any straw color, any straw that is going to fit these sticks be able to fit through these sticks to give you room to glue them and secure them. You're good to go. Just like that. So, let me. So you see that's, that empty space that's gonna leave me. I'm gonna sharpen these down some so that when I stick them in the apple, I won't have too much space left. Madison, I need you to sit down. You're doing too much. Why well, y'all always got to do stuff when I'm down here? Like, seriously. Like this off, which I rarely even use this one for pencils. But I want to make sure it's white. So let's see which side is going to do better. Which 
what I think I want to, and you see it's still creating a point, so you're not losing that point. So what I'm going to do, though, is, am I going to be able to do it with my scissors? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to just go ahead and break the tip off so I can know once I break that tip and sharpen it where I need it to be. And I got this little sharpener from Target in the school supply section. <sighs> See how much of a difference that did for me? That's exactly where I need it to be. goes in because of course it's not going to go all the way to the bottom but when it goes in we'll have just enough space and it'll come up about right there and then when I dip it it'll cover that little part of the stick and then we'll be right on point so that's it guys that's I just wanted to show you guys there's if you want to um, spice up your theme with your candy apples um, but you know, do it reasonably. These straws are very reasonable. Um, you're not going to break your pockets, um, you know, for the straws. So that's another way you can do it without purchasing them, which some people, I mean, feel free to purchase what you want to purchase. But I try to do things myself first, and then if I can't complete it, then that's my next step, purchasing it. You can have it. Mm -hmm. Stop, I'm just going that down a little bit because that little piece was coming up. What did you say to me? Yeah, that's about good. Different apples are different sizes. They will be good as long as we didn't have that big empty space in between. That's what I was going for. So I'm not going to sit here and show you guys how I sharpen all of these pencils down. But um, after I finish sharpening all of them down and getting to the size that I desire. Um, hey, stop it. I'm going to post a picture in my YouTube um, community area. So thank you guys for joining. Um, thanks the ones for the ones that will be joining later and watching. Um, oh, okay. I never tried those type of sticks. Are they um? Are they sturdy enough for a candy apple? Because sometimes I see people use like the candy um, pop sticks, and I'm not too sure if those are sturdy enough. But are the um, corn on the cob sticks sturdy enough for? Um, yeah, are they sturdy enough for something like a candy apple? How did they do? Okay, cool. Mom. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that one time. I always do the same stuff, so I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know. When I turn it on, you press this and Mm-hmm. You did that? That's a screen capture. I know. Okay. Here. Stop smacking. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. I don't want to leave anyone hanging. The sticks I'm using are in my description box. I already have um, everything listed in my description box.
and they come in like it's like where is it? I separate everything before I start so but they come in it's a lot I think I got is it like 500 sticks in that pack you know you're welcome you have a great day too let me know how they work for you okay guys so make sure you're subscribed you're liking you following my ig page pages so you can keep up with what i be having going on and i will see you guys back in a little bit for my um how to dip how to make um oreo pops so i'll see you guys then bye bye Can I go, Papa, Mama?